Catalonia is a unique region. They have their own romance language, their own customs and cuisine, and when it comes to the Christmas season, they have their own traditions. In fact, when it comes to the Christmas season, they have some very, very unique traditions. I dare say that their Christmas traditions are firmly ranked number two. Learn more about the Christmas traditions of Catalonia on this episode of Everything Everywhere Daily. This episode is sponsored by the Tourist Office of Spain. If you've never been to Spain, you're probably familiar with it even if you don't know it. That's because Spain is used as a filming location for many of the most popular movies and television shows. Much of Game of Thrones was filmed in Spain. Parts of King's Landing was shot in Girona, just meters away from where I lived for several months. Most spaghetti westerns from the 1960s were filmed on location in Spain. Lawrence of Arabia, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Dr. Javago, Star Wars Episode II, Mission Impossible, and The Bourne Identity, and many, many other movies have all been shot on location in Spain. You can start researching your dream trip to Spain today by visiting Spain.info, where you can get everything you need to know to plan your Spanish adventure. A Christmas nativity scene is a representation in small statues of the birth of Jesus. Most household nativity scenes are just a few statues. You'll have statues of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and maybe a few animals. Some will even have the three wise men, and others will include shepherds and angels. The first nativity scene dates back to St. Francis of Assisi in 1223, and he used live actors instead of statues. The idea of reenacting the birth of Christ was approved by the Pope, and soon such scenes started to appear in churches and cities all around Europe. They're still a fixture of many towns today. In Catalonia, they too have adopted the tradition of nativity scenes. As with much of Europe, the tradition dates back centuries. However, there's one thing about the nativity scenes in Catalonia which are different than the nativity scenes anywhere else in the world. In addition to all the characters I just mentioned, they will have an extra person tucked in the back in the far corner of the scene. That person is a shepherd, and in Catalan he is known as El Cagané. El Cagané roughly translates to the pooper. Yes, every nativity scene in Catalonia has a statue of a man squatting down and pooping. He's doing his business, and most of the statues also show the results of his efforts below him. Why in the world is this in a nativity scene? Nowhere in the Bible is there a mention of a man going number two during the birth of Jesus. The truth is, no one is really sure how the tradition started. There's evidence dating back to at least the 17th or 18th centuries of the Cagane, but beyond that, we really don't know. Catalonia isn't the only place in Europe with this tradition, but here it is by far the most famous and prevalent. Some people believe that the statue is for good luck. The cognate represents fertilizing the fields, and if you don't have the statue, you will not have a good crop the next year. Another theory is that the cognate represents mischief, and the cognate represents humanity. After all, what is more human? In 2005, there was a public outcry when Barcelona commissioned a nativity steen that did not have a cognate. A group was formed called Save the Cagane, and next year, the Cagane was returned. Regardless of how the tradition started, it's now one of the most popular symbols of Catalonia. There are stores in Catalonia which specialize just in Cagane figures. There are hundreds of different Caganes available now, with subjects including presidents, popes, royalty, athletes, and celebrities. If you want to get a statue of Lionel Messi or the Queen Elizabeth pooping, head over to Catalonia. There's even an organization dedicated to Cagane collectors called the Friends of the Cagane. They have over 70 members from around the world, and some of the collectors have over 600 statues in their collection. But the Cagane is not the only Christmas tradition in Catalonia. In fact, it isn't even the only Christmas tradition that involves poop. The other Catalan custom is the Tio de Nadal, or the Cagatio, which roughly translates into poop log. The cagatillo is a hollowed-out log. A face is usually painted on one end, and it will usually have two sticks sticking out of the bottom to hold it up. Starting on December 8th, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, children will leave food for the cagatillo every night before they go to bed and put a blanket over him to keep him warm. They do this every evening, and then on Christmas Day, children will beat the cagatillo with sticks while singing the cagatillo song so the log will poop out presents. Traditionally, the logs would defecate nuts and candy, but nowadays it might be actual gifts. Three Kings Day is actually the big holiday for gift-giving, so what's given out at Christmas is usually smaller. 
I'd now like to read the English translation of the lyrics of the Cagatillo song, which is sung by children as they traditionally beat the poop log on Christmas Day. Poop log, poop nougats, hazelnuts, and motto cheese. If you don't poop well, I'll hit you with a stick, poop log. Poop log, log of Christmas, don't poop herrings, which are too salty. Poop nougats, which are much better. Nora Jones has actually recorded a version of the song, I kid you not. The reference to nougat, known as Turan in Catalan, is traditionally made from egg white, honey or sugar, and almonds, and it might have been brought to the region by the Moors. It's been associated with the winter and Christmas seasons for ages. As with the Cagane, the origins of the Cagatillo are shrouded in mystery. There's really nothing explicitly Christian about it, and many people think that the tradition dates back to pagan times. Back when everyone had a fireplace, the final step in the tradition was usually burning the log after it had been beaten and defecated all its presents. But nowadays, they'll just keep it for the next year. Why does the log have to poop? No one knows. It's just something that they do at this point. For whatever reason, Catalonia has become known for not one, but two Christmas traditions that involve pooping. These traditions have become so well-known and popular that you can now find Caganés and Cagatillos in gift shops in Catalonia all year round. Executive producer of Everything Everywhere Daily is James Makala. The associate producer is Thor Thompson. Remember to leave a five-star review to get your review read on the show. They can be left at Apple Podcasts, Podcast Republic, or wherever you listen to the show. Also, you can help support the show over at Patreon.com. Patrons can get merchandise like t-shirts and hoodies, as well as having direct access to provide suggestions for future episodes.